Hello viewers. Now, William Blake, as in and did those feet in ancient time, once said that a good local pub has much in common with a church, only it's warmer and there's more conversation. And he might have added that in pubs you also get pies. Welcome to the Pub Classics edition of O Cook and we're going to start with something that we call pie squared. It is a pie made with pastry but it also caters for the perennial problem really of having some guests who are vegetarian. Rather than making two pies, a vegetarian pie, in this case it's potato, leek and cheese, and a meat eaters pie, chicken and mushroom, obviously I'm going to make both pies in the same dish with a division down the middle. So you can simply choose the pie from the side of the dish that suits your eating habits. Oil, quite a bit of it. I'll tell you what, as this is a pub classics edition, I'm going to have a beer. Here is a beer. I hold it like a Neanderthal so you can't see the branding and pour it into this glass. Oh, you can see the Shepherd Neen branding. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Other beers are available, such as Fuller's of Chiswick. Cheers. I'll start with the chicken and mushroom half of the pie. Onion, one, chopped. Onions are softening. 175 grams of chicken chopped up into chicken chunk shaped chunks. Same weight of mushrooms. They are almost artwork. Cezanne would have put a couple of those in a small bowl, painted them, and these days that picture would be worth something like three to five million pounds. Finally, I'm going to add my secret sauce. Half, half, half a tin cream of mush... Hang on. Roughly half a tin of cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to turn the temperature back up again because that would have cooled the pan. I think this would benefit from the addition of a herb and I think that should be tarragon. I'm going to see if Nikki, the home economist who I keep in this cupboard, has any tarragon. Nikki? Hello. Hi. Do you, do you have any tarragon? You've already got it in your hand. That's I amazing. How saying. did you know? <laughs> Telepathy. So, so presumably not a huge amount. No, I reckon maybe one sprig and just take the leaves off. Well, what, every single leaf? Well, off? if you kind of go like that, they'll come off. Oh, will they? Well, hopefully. There. Oh, yeah. That's a top cooking tip. Run your fingers the wrong way, like stroking a cat in the wrong direction. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Love it. Right, just stir that in for a moment, then we're going to put this to one side to cool down. A new pan, green for vegetables. The veggie half uses 250 grams of potatoes, a leek and 90 grams of cheese. Parboil the spuds, slice the leek. Now we're going to use the established knife technique to guide with my knuckles the knife. Right, eagle-eyed viewers will have spotted a continuity error. Nikki, the home economist, was here and now she's not here. She has simply vanished. I don't know how that's happened. Must be something to do with editing. Butter. What about your hopes for this half and half pie? My real hope for it is not that it becomes a pub standard or anything like that, but, but that it works, because I've never made a pie, I've never used pastry. That bit will be coming up in a minute, and I will probably have to bring Nikki back out of the cupboard to make sure I'm doing it properly. But I learn, you learn, and then we are all fed by knowledge. I now push the leeks around the pan for a bit, which isn't going to win me a BAFTA. Or is it? Look at that one. That one's, that one's almost speaking. It's like Pac-Man. Can you see that? That one, look. No, it's not going to win me a BAFTA. Anyway, back to learning. That is cheese. I'm pretty good at Gary. That is cheese. <laughs> this is cheese. This whole thing is bloody cheese. I'm up to my knees in. <laughs> this is just mousetrap cheddar cheese. There we have the vegetarian half of the pie. And just by way of a recap, two pies in one pie, chicken and mushroom half, cheesy leek and potato half. <laughs>